Hey, it's Duncan. Welcome back to Free Legal Information Friday. Today, since we're in you know the middle of winter, icy sidewalks, icy roads, we're going to talk about slip and falls and the legal concept called contributory negligence. So first, really quick, really basically, what is contributory negligence or contrib? That's when a plaintiff or injured person is found to not have taken reasonable care for their own safety. So if they're partially at fault for the incident, for the slip and fall, or in other scenarios, car accidents, that types of thing. Um, so if you're found, let's say 20% contributorily negligent, your damages are reduced by 20%. So what are some common forms of contrib or common contrib arguments that we hear from defense lawyers and insurance companies on winter slip and fall cases? Today, we're going to talk really quickly about three of them. So the first one is the plaintiff is not wearing the proper footwear. So if you're out, you're walking, maybe some icy sidewalks, icy parking lot, you slip and fall. If you're wearing sandals, if you're wearing high-heeled shoes, if you're wearing flat dress shoes with no tread on them, those types of things, the defense is going to argue that you're partially at fault because you weren't wearing the proper footwear. You weren't wearing something with good grip, good tread on the bottom of it, those types of things. That's why after a slip and fall incident, we always ask our clients to keep their footwear and to send us pictures of their footwear. So that's one potential contrib argument. Second one is that the plaintiff or injured person was not looking where they're going. Now you're not expected to be walking, just looking down at your feet the entire time, but you are expected to be looking where you're going and to be aware of your surroundings. Um, if there's a sign warning about ice, you're expected to be looking and you'll potentially see that sign if it's right beside the ice that you're walking on. Third one is you're rushing. You're in a hurry. You're late for an appointment. You're not paying attention. Kind of going back to number two. If you're rushing, you're in a hurry um, and you slip and fall. The other side's probably going to argue that you are potentially um, contributorily negligent. One more little key thing, or one more key thing, not little key thing, one more key thing. It's up, the de up to the defense to prove it. And defense lawyers often forget that, or insurance companies often forget that. They have to have actual evidence that you were not taking reasonable care for your own safety. They can't just throw these ideas or arguments out into the ether. Um, or if they do, they're not gonna be actually, you know, listened to by a judge or jury because they have to have actual evidence of contrib. Thanks for joining me. This has been Free Legal Information Friday on contributory negligence and slip and falls. See you next time.